MBA 633 Excel Tutorial 4 prepared by Professor Ahmed Tata, School of Management, George Mason University. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how to represent the relationship between two variables in a graphical manner, provided the two, both the variables are numerical, quantitative, and ratio scaled. Um, in the previous three tutorials, all the graphical representations that we had seen were for one variable in isolation, either the number of uh, browsers, uh, the counts for the different types of browsers, the amount of um, uh, money spent online, and so forth. But now you can see this for this same shopper's worksheet that we had been playing around with for the last three tutorials. We have uh, one more column of data, one more variable, that is the time spent online. So time in minutes and the amount spent in dollars. For example, customer number three spent eight and a half minutes uh, online and spent uh, $26.68. Now, uh, one might be interested in exploring whether there is some relationship between the amount of time spent shopping online and the amount of money that one spends uh, shopping. Presumably, the longer one spends online, the more you shop, or perhaps you're buying a more expensive item, so you had to spend more time online looking around for it, researching, and so forth. So it's not clear that there is a very strong relationship, or even there might be a perfect or an imperfect relationship, but one might want to explore. And a, great, a, a graphical way one can do that is by using something called a scattergram. So remember, a scattergram is a graphical way of representing a relationship between two variables, provided both are quantitative and ratio scaled, as they are in this case, time and um, amount spent in dollars. So the way we would represent things graphically is to first highlight um, both these variables, the two columns. So I simply uh, drag my cursor down over these two columns and then go to insert and then pick a scattergram. Now there, as with most of these other types of charts, there are different options that you can pick in terms of uh, how to represent uh, the scatter. So I'll just pick the dots. I mean, I don't want them connected by lines and so forth. I just want to see the scatter. That's where the name scattergram uh, comes from. So I click on this one, and you can see this is the bare bones graph that results just like your bare bones pie chart and bar chart and so forth. And there will be ways to make things look pretty. So let me move this to a fresh worksheet and then play around with it over there. So this is the basic scattergram. And I think it's uh, fairly obvious what one looks for in, in this pattern. Uh, now, before I do that, let's just make the two axes a little more descriptive. So the x-axis is the amount of time spent online in minutes, and the y-axis is the amount spent in dollars. Okay, So let's go to the Layout tab, and let's put some axis titles. So primary horizontal axis, title below axis. So let's put um, the x-axis title over here, which is time spent online in minutes, OK? Similarly, let's put a vertical axis title. Yeah. We'll say amount spent in dollars, OK? All right, um, I don't want to. Um, go through all the different uh, options we have for make changing appearances. You can do that by playing around with the layout tab, OK? But in terms of interpreting this scattergram, just ask yourself if the relationship was perfect. In other words, if time spent in minutes could explain how much was spent in dollars absolutely perfectly, what would the pattern look like? It would look like all the dots that you see would lie perfectly on a 45-degree line, OK? There'd be no scatter. There'd be zero scatter, basically. So anytime the pattern deviates from this perfect fit on a 45 degree straight line, we have an imperfect fit and we have a scatter. The more scattered the points are, the less strong relationship you have between these two variables. Now, again, ask yourself the other extreme. If there was absolutely no relationship between 
the time spent in minutes online and the amount bought in dollars, what would the pattern look like? It was essentially look like um, a, a, a series of dots, not series, a collection of dots that are, um, are not angled in any particular way. So if you were to um, draw a straight line through the middle of the dots, it would look like a horizontal straight, straight line. Uh, and that's what the pattern would look like if there was absolutely no relationship between these two variables. So uh, <clears throat> sometimes the scatter is um, tilted to the right, as you see in this case, meaning the more time you spend online, the more you tend to spend in dollars. But the scatter could also be downward sloping and to the right, meaning uh, the more, the higher the value of x, the lower the value of the y-axis, okay? Um, for instance, um, the x-axis x -axis could be number of cigarettes smoked per day, and the y-axis could be the expected life expectancy, all right? Uh, life expectancy in years. So the more you smoke, uh, the less you expect to live. So the scatter points would be uh, downward sloping. And it would not be a perfect fit. Some people smoke and live forever. Other people don't smoke and they don't live very long. So th it's not a perfect fit, but uh, it would be a negatively sloping uh, scatter diagram. So this is basically how you go about drawing a, a, a scatter gram, which is uh, simply a visual representation of the uh, relationship between two variables.